Makes sense. There's this one time, one of the creepiest places we've ever been is kind of a story like that. Um, have you ever heard of the Velisca Axe Murders? Ooh. No. So in Velisca, Iowa, there was this serial killer that came in, apparently. Um, and small little town, a couple thousand people or whatever, a uh, little house. And somehow this guy was able to come into the house kill two parents and six kids all in one house with an axe a tiny oh, house without getting caught at all and God. to this day it's an unsolved murder mm -hmm. oh jesus christ and it's just so so bizarre and that was one of the places that like yeah just, oh, that's my God. yeah Super. We went oh my god look at the fucking sign in front of it <laughs> <laughs> jesus yeah. christ they got Velisca axe murder house and it's dripping blood if you were a neighbor you'd be like hey bro Maybe take that fucking sign that? down. Yeah, exactly. A little Imagine. insensitive for sure. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So that was in 1912. That's yeah. when that all happened. Yeah. So over a hundred years. But that was like one of those things that we'd we'd researched and that was like interesting. But as soon as we stepped foot in that house, it was a whole different vibe. Yeah. Uh, it was one of those things that like uh, it was one of the few times we actually had to leave. So halfway, like after doing a little tour with the whole like uh, with the tour guide, he was telling us all these stories, and just like being in there was weird. Uh, mm -hmm. Like our our buddy was like feeling like he's gonna throw up, and it was just like really odd. Like that doesn't happen every time, but when it does, it's kind of like ah, uh, and, and it might be because of how fucked up it was. Right. Uh, there was a lot of things that went down in this. Well, murder. it's also how you know about it, right? It would have been interesting if you if someone brought you into the house without telling you mm -hmm. anything. Like, how do you feel in this place? And then see how you feel then right mm. is it like a placebo effect maybe right. that because you know the story it you're walking be. in there i mean that's a crazy placebo right like to, oh, just yeah. to know that that a whole family's murdered with a fucking axe right right and the the most gruesome part about it is the the killer used the blunt side of the axe so you can still because we went there to investigate you can still see like the axe markings in the ceiling when he was going back oh god to go down and again there was it's so weird because there was like on the top floor, there was like the parents' uh, room, but then right like five steps down a wooden creaky hallway was the children's room where there was four of them. And then there was two more of like the their daughter's friends that they were hanging out with that were downstairs that got murdered as well. So how is it possible that he was able to get to all of them with the mm -hmm. blunt side and just, I And like know. broke, like did he break in or was he hiding like in the attic? Like we don't Ooh, know. Really creepy. Yeah. I think- So the, that was the one that got you the most? Yeah. For yeah, that like that, like, that like true crime world is like really, really messed up. Cause like again, like the stories you hear too, and the allegations of these people is like, oh god. Cause for that particular ex murder, the little girls downstairs apparently were the last ones getting killed, and because of that, um, the killer was apparently reported that he like would. And this is like really disturbing. Yeah, like, like warning. Yeah, like would uh, like unclothe the little girls and he sat there and he pleasured himself um in front of these oh, like dead with people. like a big like slab of bacon it was like like those types of gruesome with a stories big slab of bacon a big slab too? of bacon he he like sexually pleasured him, himself oh, to these like God. dead bodies That's yeah like, so of like girls rough. under like 10 too i think or 15 something like that and it never happened again and then they never found the guy did they have suspects so they do have suspects and what's really interesting is the two main sub suspects that a lot of people talk about were not the ones that we ended up uh, talking about in, in our video just because right before um, doing a research on this location we saw this uh, this author that just came out with a book about a serial killer and she thinks she solved the Velisca Axe murders because that same exact style of murder was actually this um, the serial killer that went from Midwest Town to Midwest Town on a train. And it's called The Man from the Train. And the same, the same exact thing. So, like, things like covering the mirrors after, like, the death and, like, the back of an axe, the fact that he was left-handed, which is... He would eat left. meals, like, afterwards. Like, he'd, like, make himself a meal and sit with all the dead bodies and eat. Yeah, cover up every, like, window because he was, like, ashamed that if he saw his reflection or something like that. Um, and oh. every single spot that this traveling serial killer went to would cover the windows and do do weird things like that, the ritual, ritual things. Yeah. So how many different times did this guy supposedly do this? I don't know. I think he was he did a lot. Like this specific dozens, serial killer right? yeah, did like dozens of times. But the two main With suspects, 
Yeah, with the axes, which is weird. And then they explained to us why. And this is a little gruesome too, but if you do the sharp side of an axe, it'll get stuck in your skull. But if yeah. you destroy the skull with the back side, the blunt side, then you can pick up the axe faster. And it was like, Ugh, oh, God, geez. like that's so oh, yeah. And we gross. thought, gross. like we were like, maybe he, you know, drugged the family beforehand or like chloroformed them or something. And there was no sign of like any any drugs like used. That's so um, weird. According to the book, The Man on the Train, he, they describe him for being responsible for up to, uh, let's see, uh, they feel feeling certain that Mueller committed 14 family murders totaling 59 victims, wow, less 59. certain varying degrees of his involvement, and another 25 family murders totaling an additional 94 victims. Wow. Oh my and God. And there's even one in Germany they think might have been attached to him. Do they have a photo of this guy? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. So what was his name? Mueller. Like Paul, Paul Mueller. Mueller or something. And why did they think it was him specifically? Did he get arrested? I'm just looking at the Wikipedia that breaks down the book. So. He just like uh, the, by the book. The style of the murders were so similar. And mm -hmm. the two other main suspects that they had hadn't murdered anybody previously. And yeah. so this guy just coming in train by train uh, to all these different cities. Yeah, the other suspects were just like not as in, intense, I guess you could say, um, where it was like there was like this one guy named like Jones, I believe, who was just a businessman um, that maybe had like some rivalry w in business with the family, mm. but wouldn't, you know, result to like murder for that. And then there was also just like a creepy reverend who was like a peeping Tom sort of character that was just like the town creep that everybody mm. thought it was. Here's the main thing on why, I guess. They think that, what they think. I don't know if you can read that. It might be a little small. Yeah. According to the Jameses, uh, a number of murders in the period were assumed by local police to be one-off incidents or actually committed by a single person, probably Mueller, based on certain similarities among the crimes. The similarities include... Uh, the same being within a few hundred feet of railroad junction. Okay, so that's the with thus the book's title it says mm -hmm. the slaughter of entire families in small towns with little or no police force and the families having a barn which mm -hmm. the killer is believed to have hidden to observe the families. Oh, geez. which Veliska had. Oh yeah. my god. Yep. That's oh, so no. fucking <laughs> imagine this, up. this guy like waiting in the barn watching the family go to sleep. For how many days, you know, before he did it. And they were all at church service before it all happened as well, which is of course. horrible. Yeah. Jesus Add Christ. insult yeah. to injury. So that one particular, you you felt something when you were in that place. I mean, you just walk in and it just feels, it's hard to explain, but it you can feel the negativity in the air where it's almost like, as crazy as it sounds, like the air feels thicker in a way. 